3, 3, Genesis 3, 3. Watch here, watch here, watch, watch. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest ye what? Ye die. Look at the devil. Look at the devil. Four. Give me four. Look at that guy. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall surely, you shall not surely die. How did he know? You can't teach somebody something you don't know. He knows what is in the garden. If that garden belongs to God, if he was the, if man was the first person to occupy the garden, how come the devil know that that fruit don't kill? How did he know that that fruit don't kill? He said, well, go further, see what he said. He said, for God do for God do know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes. Did their eyes open after they finished? Did their eyes open? So how did the devil know? What is he in the mind of God? How did he know? Because he has covered all those lands before. He has covered all those lands. And he knows that that fruit opens you up to the knowing of good and evil. And he said, God didn't see the truth. This is the order. And when they ate it, exactly what happened? Their eyes opened and the Bible said, they realized they were what? Naked. Say, how? And they covered themselves with leaves. How? Because he has been there before. He has no. Ask yourself, how did he enter the garden? Where did he get access? How? How did he enter the garden? And he needed to be in the physicality of the snake. To be able to communicate with them. Neither the physical body to interact with them. Does that mean that whenever God comes in the cool of the day, how was he coming? If the devil needed a flesh to communicate with Adam and Eve, how was God visiting them? How? 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 And how did the devil know all these things? Because he's the anointed cherub that covered. Because you can't tell me that the devil know more than God. He has been there before. If not, he wouldn't have known. He asked them, it, he said, what did the Lord say about this fruit? He knows what he was talking. Why didn't he carry him to any other tree but that tree? <laughs> he knows that tree. He knows the location of the tree in the Garden of Eden. And theologians have said that the Garden of Eden is bigger than the size of Ghana. It's bigger than the size of what? Ghana. So he was able to carry if to the location of the tree and said, I'm talking about this tree, which means... The guy has covered those areas before. He has been there. How many of you know, heard about these uh, animals? Is it dinosaur or something like that? Dinosaurs. You know them? You know them, right? Have you seen them before? In pictures and in movies. Do you know that they never existed? I hope you know that. Uh, do you realize that this, these people, uh, scientists one day discover one of their skulls that have existed over a million years. There are beings... They have discovered the, the scars of beings that have no peace on this earth. But the earth before this one, those beings existed before. Bones, rocks, that well that have been covered up from the time of Adam till now is about 6,000 years. But the earth has been in existence over millions of years. Who was covering it before? Give me this scripture. Let me show you who was covering it. Isaiah 14, 12. How art thou falling from heaven? O Lucifer, son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground with this weaken the nations? Give me different translation. All right, here, look at this. King of Babylon, bright morning star, you have fallen from heaven. In the past, you conquer nations. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. In the past, what happened? But now you have been thrown to the ground. Which nations? The devil was covering before the arrival of man. He was created on earth to conquer nations. Just like the way you are created to conquer nations. In the past, you conquered nations. But you have fallen now to the ground. You conquered nations. But now look at you. Look at you. Oh, morning star. Do you know the meaning of Lucifer? Lucifer means the bringer of light. And you know that he was not bringing the light to God because God is the source of that light. So where was he bringing? He was bringing the light from God to the nations. Just like you are the carrier. Give me John chapter 1 verses 1. John 1 1. In the beginning, the word already existed and the word, and the word was with God and the word was God. Further, uh -huh. from the very beginning, the word was with God. Through him, God made all things. Not one thing in all creation was made without him. The word was the source of life and this life 
brought light to the people. This life brought what? Who is that life? Christ. This life, Christ, he brought light to the people. So Lucifer means the bringer of light. And the same thing. So Lucifer, the missing Lucifer was having was the same missing Jesus fulfilled here. He brought light. You are the carrier of light to the nations of the world. And the main reason why the devil don't like you, the devil is like Queen Vasti, former Queen Vasti, and you are like Esther. There's no day Queen Vasti will ever respect Esther because you took her place. And the word was the source of life. And this life brought light to the, he brought light. And the devil too was the bringer of light. And the Bible says you conquer the nation. In the past, you conquer the nation. But right now, you have fallen to the ground. You conquer the nation with your light. You know, some people say Sunday school, they told us that the devil was a leader. <laughs> Holy, he was a master. <laughs> so they said the devil liked choir because choir people because he was a choir master. It's a lie. There's no scriptures. There's no scripture in the Bible where the Bible said the devil was a choir master. And uh, our Sunday school teacher would say that when the devil just sit down and do like this, music, he do like this, music, that and he will sing and the Lord will love it. Hey, brother Bernard. <laughs> he was rather a covering guy. He was the bringer of light from God to the nations. So one day, because, the nas- because he has conquered the nations, Fear a man who has succeeded. A man who succeeded if that person is not. Look, a successful man is more vulnerable than a failure. Yes. A man who felt like he has arrived. No longer respect me. He said things. That is why a man of God can be humble from the beginning. And because of his success. Right now, he begins to alter words. You see, you hear, and you are surprised. What is happening? It is part of it. He has succeeded. He conquered the nation. And after conquering the nations, he now, and at that time, the devil was in the order of Adam. He can talk to the cherubims, the seraphims. He have access to all angels. So he now went and told them. They even desire to just have one of your flesh. Just like you. It is a prayer topic of anything that is a spirit. Your body. Right now, assuming you now go and tell. I'm not just giving you one flesh. But I will give you Ghana if you follow me. The Bible said, you were excelling in glory until the day iniquity was found. Iniquity was found. What was the iniquity? He said, I will what? Exalt my throne above the stars of heaven. Not Now, he was no longer interested on the earth because he has conquered the earth. He has conquered the nation. Right now, his target is the stars above, above, above. Because the devil was now a celebrity. When he entered heaven, everyone said, devil, Lucifer, 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 Lucifer. The same way you will enter heaven and they will bow. How? I, I've, I've been asking that self, that myself that question. How was the devil able to convince one third of the angels to go with him? How? 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 I hope you now know the reason. Yes. He didn't promise them heaven. He promised them the nations. He said, I have conquered. And the Bible also confirmed that he conquered the nation. He is the one who brought death to Adam because he was afraid. Adam was supposed to conquer the nation like the way he conquered. He was not supposed to die. In those days, the one who conquered the nation was a cherubim. But those days, now the Lord said, let us now create a man in our own image, in our own likeness. No longer looking like an angel, now like God to conquer the nations. God on earth. And the devil got jealous. He got angry. He said, no, it cannot happen. Because it was now a higher version of the product. The product has been upgraded. A new project brought a new being. Greater, higher in glory than the devil. In our own image, why not like, why not an angel? A cherubim, a seraphim. Why didn't you bring a different angel? But the Lord now came down and brief himself. God left God and enter another being. And he asked him, like I said, God look at Adam. He looked at the other God and said, are you okay? Say yes. Are you okay in that body? He said yes. Are you sure you are fine? Yes. Can you conquer the nations with this body? He said, yes, I'm ready. He said, take over. Dominate. Have dominion over the fish, the air, the land, everywhere. 
and every creeping thing on earth dominate. Hey, the devil was in coma. They admitted him and they passed him IV lines and it was running. <laughs> if he was a devil, why didn't he face Adam himself? But he faced Eve. Where was Adam? Why, why didn't he go? Didn't he know where the, the location of Adam in the garden? Woman was not created in the image of God. It was man that was created in the image of God. Yes. He knew. <laughs> so he looked for the woman before Adam came by him. It's over. He should have gone to Adam and said, Adam, he said, God would have responded. Uh -huh. Thank God, when Jesus, when Jesus came and never married, the devil never succeeded in. Uh -huh. The ladies, are you here? I hope you are not getting angry. Come on, take it easy. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sometimes you can just be on fire the whole day you are on your way to the devil and your wife will appear and say, <laughs> What is the matter? I don't know. I don't know. So you now have to put your Bible down and come down and say, what is your problem? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know the problem. The anointing, the whole day you have gathered grace, you have gathered anointing, you prepare words to spit. Don't you know the problem? You know. Stop pretending. Stop pretending. And you call yourself a pastor. What type of pastor are you? Hey! And now pastor is boiling. <laughs> Now, they have deflated pastor. Hallelujah, say amen. They said, the problem of this world is women. Whenever you see a pastor saying the problem of this world is women, know that it's not working in their house. <laughs> know that he and the wife are in loggerheads. He said, women, be careful. Some people, they can't talk to their women. No. So they will now make it a, a sermon. Women, respect your... <laughs> That you have mouths and every day you are insulting your husband. Even your husband is a pastor. You are, don't you know? Stop insulting your husband who is a pastor. He's talking to the wife. Who, and the, the wife is sitting there and say, he, he can't say it. He can say, but with the pulpit, you know, the members are giving him, you know. <laughs> Amen. Ask the devil. Sometimes you should just ask them, if you were a man enough, why are you attacking a woman? Where was Adam when you look for Eve? Where, that, that has been my question. Where was Adam? The man himself, where was he? You are attacking the wrong man. You should have gone to Adam himself and said, Adam, did the Lord said he wouldn't have landed. Adam would have rebuked him. Kati, Bahani, you Satan. Is somebody here, you are a created God. You are God. You are God. Behave like one. Stop being intimidated by small demons. Small spirits and demons. They will do it and you are doing like this. You can't sleep alone. Hey, how can you sleep? A nightmare. What is a nightmare? I control the world even in dreams. I am not just in charge in the physical, even in the dream realm. Animals don't chase me. I chase animals. Snakes don't chase me. I cook them and I eat them and I get up. I am not a victim. Some of you. A snake will swallow you when your head is remaining. Say, whoa, whoa, and wake up and say, hey, hey, it was a dream. <laughs> Come on, sit down. <laughs> your head is remaining. You think that ah, ah, it was a dream. As a matter of fact, it was not a dream. It is a reality. In the realm of the spirit, one will see, we are seeing only your snake, your head. <laughs> your, your body, your hands, your legs have been swallowed. It's only your head that is there. We have to hold the head and remove every part of you out. Sandili para fa 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 pa ko fuskili para han da